Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create mix and match product bundles in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example of the mix and match product bundles. Here, I'm on a demo WooCommerce website. And for this product, I have created mix and match product bundles. So on this product page, it is going to show the mix and match product bundles campaign. Here you will see different products are available to mix and match. So the customer will be able to select different products and create a customized product bundle at a discounted price. You will see if they mix two items, they will get 20% discount. If they create a bundle of three items, they will get 15% discount. And if they select four items, then they will get 25% discount. You can also offer free shipping. You can also create countdown timer. You can schedule this campaign. And for that specific time period, this campaign will be shown on the product page. You can also display this campaign on cart page or checkout page, or you can use a short code to display the campaign anywhere on your website. So here I have four different products and four different products are added to the cart and the customer will get 25% discount. If I want to remove, I can remove the products. Here you will see I have selected two products and this offer is valid, 10% discount. I can add one more product and you will see three items are added and customer will get 15% discount. And if I add four items, you will see 25% discount is valid for this product bundle. So I have selected four items and 25% discount is applied automatically. After that, I can add this to the cart. All the products will be added to the cart at a 25% discount. To create mix and match product bundles, I'm going to use a WoW Revenue plugin. This plugin has free as well as premium version. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can install this plugin and how to create different types of campaigns using this plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Using this plugin, you can create different types of campaigns, normal discount, bundle discount, quantity discount, buy one get one frequently bought together mix and match double order plus so you will see all these features are available in a single plugin so instead of buying multiple plugins to add these features on a woocommerce website you can buy a single plugin which already has power of 12 plugins so this is going to be all in one plugin for your woocommerce website the pricing of this plugin is only 209 dollars for a single website and this is not a yearly pricing. This is going to be a one-time price and you will be able to use this plugin lifetime on your website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's see how we can create product mix and match bundles in a WooCommerce website using Wow Revenue plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website and I have already installed the WoW Revenue Premium plugin. When you install the plugin, in the left hand panel you will see the option of WoW Revenue. When you click on it, you will be on the dashboard of the WoW Revenue plugin. And now we are going to create mix and match product bundles using the plugin. For that, you will need to create a campaign. So at the top, you will see the option, click on create campaign. And you will see different options here, normal discount, bundle discount, volume or quantity discount, buy X, get Y, product mix and match, frequently bought together and double order plus. You will see some other campaigns are available, but they will be coming soon. So in future, these options will also be added. Now in this video, we are going to create product mix and match. So click on create the campaign. Right at the top, you will see a place to enter the name for the campaign. So I'm going to enter the name. So this is going to be the name of the campaign. Here you will see where do you want to show this campaign. Currently it is set to product page. So it will be shown on the single product page. If you click on plus sign, you will see different options, cart page, checkout page, and thank you page. So if you want to show this campaign on other pages also, you need to select that option. For example, if you want to show this on cart page, you can simply check this option. And this campaign will also be shown on the cart page. As of now, I'm going to select product page only. Here you will see page status, select the page status, enable or disable. Display style. You will see three different styles are there in page, pop-up and floating. As of now, I'm going to select in page. Later, I'll show you how the pop-up and floating display works. 
Now this is going to be the position where you want to show this campaign. We have selected in page position and these are the options to show the campaign where you want to show before add to cart, after add to cart, after single product summary, before single product and after single product. I'm going to select after single product summary. Here you will see campaign trigger products. If you click on drop down, you will see specific product or specific category. So if you want to show this campaign on specific category, you can select specific category or you can select specific products. So I'm going to select specific products and click on this option, select product. Here you will see a list of products on your WooCommerce shop. You can start typing the product name and it will show the products. I'm going to select these products here. One, two, three and four products. So I have selected four different products. Click on save and continue. So you will see this is how it is going to show. Below that, you will see enable required product. So if you enable, you will need to select one or more products which will be required to show this campaign. So you will see initial selected products. All products are selected. You will see this here. If I select all products are selected, then you will see it here. Then we have products to offer. We have option manual. Automatic is not available. And we are going to offer some discount. So minimum quantity will be let's say two. So if you have two products, then we are going to offer 10% discount. You will see discount type is percentage discount, fixed discount or no discount. So I have one offer here, two products selected, then they will get 10% discount. Let's add one more offer. If three products are selected, then they will get 15% discount. And if four products are selected, then they will get 25% discount. So this is what the offer is. You will see those offers are added at the top. Two items save 10%, three items save 15%, and four items save 25%. So this is how it will show on the actual product page. And below that we have campaign title. We need to, we are going to add campaign title. Let's say mix and match product bundles. Whatever name you want to add, you can add the name here. You, it will be shown here at the top. And subtitle, let's say get up to 25% additional discount. And you will see it here. If you want to offer free shipping, you can enable the free shipping and it will be shown here. Then we have countdown timer. You can also add countdown timer. When do you want to start the timer right now? Or you can schedule a date later to start the countdown timer. I have selected right now and end date for the countdown timer. You need to select the date. So I'm going to select this one, let's say, and time will be, let's say, 12 a.m. So this countdown timer will be available from right now to this date. Animated add to cart, you can enable it. Here you will say add to cart and you can select animation type, let's say shake. So you will see if I move the cursor on it, it is going to shake the button or you can also select loop. It is going to loop this animation continuously. So I'm going to select on hover. You will see different animation styles are there. All right. Below that, you will see schedule settings. If you want to schedule this campaign, you can select the start date and time as well as the end date and time. So I'm going to select start date and time, which will be, let's say today. And you can also select the time. After that, you can also select the end date and time for this campaign. So you can enable it. And after that, you can select the end date and time. So after that, this campaign will no longer run on your website. Let's go to additional settings, skip to cart, enable this option to take the user directly to the checkout page, enable quantity selector. We can enable the quantity selector here. Let's enable it. You will see the quantity selector here. If the other products are already in the cart or order, hide this campaign. And uh, there are different options, do nothing or hide products. Attribute when user click product title or image, then go to product page. So it will go to product page when someone clicks on image or title. All right, so these are the basic settings. Let's click on publish and click on save. All right, let's go to the shop page. We have selected this product. So I'm going to click on it. 
and if i scroll along you will see this mix and match product bundles offer is showing after the product summary so we have selected after the single product summary that's why it shows here you will see the title at the top then description free shipping is also available and this is the countdown timer for this offer and these are the discount offers two items 10 percent discount three items 15 percent discount and four items 25 percent discount if i scroll along you will see by default four items are already selected you will see that option here initial selected products all products are selected so all the products are selected and if i want to remove any one of them i can simply click on this and it will be removed all right so we have only one item here let's add this one if i add this one you will see the second product is added and for two items 10 percent discount is applied and this offer is selected now i'm going to select one more you will see three products are added and 15 percent discount is applied and this offer is applied let's add one more and 25 percent discount is applied and this is the offer so you will see four products are added if i want to increase the quantity i can simply click on the plus sign and click on add you will see that product is added it is showing three so i'm going to delete and let's make it two and click on add so two quantities are added for this product so in total we have four items and this offer is applied so after that i can click on add to cart and all the products will be added to the cart and they are going to get 25 percent discount all right let's close it let's go to display style and select floating and i'm going to select bottom left delay will be let's say one second and we have other settings as it is click on update and save let's go back to this product refresh it and you will see the floating display style you can change the position instead of left you can select right click on update and save refresh it and this is the style let's go back select pop-up and let's select zoom update and save let's go back close this one and refresh it and this is the pop-up display style for this campaign so this is how you can create mix and match product bundles in a woocommerce website using a wow revenue plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.